The Tasty Diner is one of Silver Spring's most beloved historic buildings. Entrepreneur Eddie Warner founded the Tasty Diner chain in 1935. The first location in Bethesda opened on Wisconsin Avenue. In 1946, Warner opened his second location on Georgia Avenue in Silver Spring, and five years later, a third opened in Laurel. The Silver Spring location is the chain's best known. In 2000, it was moved from Georgia Avenue, where Discovery Communications built a new headquarters, to Cameron Street. The move got national attention, and the Silver Spring location has been featured in books, newspapers, documentaries, and the comic Zippy the Pinhead. The Tasty Diner website boasts that the Washington Post dubbed this location the most famous diner in Silver Spring. Historic preservation enthusiasts in Silver Spring frequently post nostalgia about the diner, and they retell the story about its famous move. What they don't talk about is the diner's role in Jim Crow's Silver Spring. Spring. It was one of many businesses that would not allow blacks to eat inside. Historian Andrew Hurley in 2002 wrote about the chain in a book on diners, bowling alleys, and trailer parks. Hurley described the owner's well-known anti-black racism that cast a long shadow over customers and his own employees. Blacks simply were not allowed to eat inside the public dining area. In 1961, when testers from the Montgomery County chapter of the NAACP visited the Tasty Diner in its Georgia Avenue location, they found that groups of mixed whites and African Americans would be served, while groups consisting only of African Americans were not. The Tasty Diner was documented in 1984 and 1994 by historians affiliated with the Montgomery County Planning Department. The historical narratives focused on the diner's Art Deco architecture and the roles diners played in communities. These forms did not discuss the contested nature of the Tasty Diner among Montgomery County's African American residents who could not eat there during the diner's first decade in business. These memories are significantly different from the nostalgia-laden narratives preserved in historical markers and books on Silver Spring history. The Tasty Diner was another place we didn't go. I mean, we, we, we did not go to a Tasty Diner and sit down there. And Tasty Diner been in there for years. Years, I remember, I remember, the, you know, right on George Avenue, and not one time did I ever go sit in Tasty Diner. That was one place we didn't go. That, that was one of the, you know, the unnamed places that, you know, we didn't go. Black folk didn't go there.